same time one day when they started alpha hour he shared the testimony on alpha hour and then he sent a message to pastor jerry Penn to come and tell him he said papa you have forgotten about me but i am the young man you met in that meeting now the point is this can you we are all consumers let me put it this way eight years ago your minister of information had no business with politics eight years ago your minister of information had no business with politics he was a radio presenter i'm trying to tell you that it doesn't take long for the table to turn it doesn't take long you better treat each other well you better treat people well you bet you better treat people well yeah the next person sitting to you might be nobody in court today but i can give you 24 months that same person you will need and you will need to go through a process to meet am i talking to you if you are the one I'm talking to, somebody lift your voice and shout, yeah! Oh. As I finish, as I finish, eight years ago, only eight years ago, I said your minister of information had no business with politics. Two years after, it happened. Barack Obama, at the time he wanted to be president, two years before he became a candidate, you will not believe, he went to the Congress, and whilst he was parking his car, in the book, Audacity of Faith, he wrote, he said, all eight, all eight credit cards bounced to pay for parking. And he stood outside watching on the screen the Congress four years after that year he was president of the united states god is raising new masters <laughs> it may not look like it i mean uh, pastors let's treat each other well let's let our spouses treat each other well when i look at our mother man humility in personification humility typified humility clearly illustrated and so papa when you say mommy is a christian i believe when you say my mother is a christian i believe hundred percent i see christ in her i see the way she relates to everybody i see the way she connects to everybody i have been i was in london one time 115 i greeted the pastor's wife and she didn't respond now she chuckled sunday and she didn't even know i was coming to their service so when she stood and was introducing her husband to preach i sit i sat on you know in the congregation and she didn't know whether to smile or not to smile many people are christians speaking in tongues but they are very nasty here nasty very 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 nasty the conscience the motives and the heart is very nasty the way they talk to you the way they behave the way they receive you you better treat each other well because very soon oh yeah very 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 soon very soon seven and a half years ago exactly seven and a half years ago i met pastor elvis ajiman in a small meeting at achimota uh, uh no it was uh it's, it's west legon it was a holiday it was a small hotel conference room my childhood friend emmanuel holbrook a prophet of god had invited me to a holiday service it was like a pastor's thing papa and elvis ajiman showed up at the time they had started their church one month nobody knew him when i saw him in the service i said the young man over there Bira, can you come to me how so i can speak a prophetic word to you and then i said to him 
anytime he shares the, the testimony he says that the way i received him the way i spoke to him was as if i had met a president but nobody knew him at the time and i said the lord says that he is going to hide you in seven years after seven years he will unveil you and you will ex explode all over the world there will be Ghana according to the prophecy Ghana has never seen any healer and miracle worker like you but it will happen after seven years went into hibernation I couldn't hear of him any time one day when they started Alpha Hour he shared the testimony on Alpha Hour and then he sent a message to Pastor Jerry Penn to come and tell him he said Papa you have forgotten about me but I am the young man you met in that meeting now the point is this can you imagine if I have treated him ill in that service can you imagine if I was nasty to him because I had then become Kofi Odru and everybody is inviting you and I have hey Charlie go back you know can you imagine now trying to get him to come over to be a blessing to us I'm telling the saviors in this place love love is regardless love is regardless love doesn't want to know you before it loves you love loves you before you even become i'm talking to the saviors in love revolution love does not love does not want to see the end product before it helps you there are many people that we have helped in fountain gate international school who have now become great people who are still going through the process but they needed that opportunity love didn't have to know them that they will become this or that ladies and gentlemen before we leave this place some glory will fall some power will fall some anointing will fall the presence will come in this place but i want to use the opportunity set the heart right set the motives right and set the conscience right so i sealed the envelope by the time my mother came we had sealed the envelope and then she stood before a simple prayer she said father send my son and my daughter help us in jesus name that was the prayer the moment she said amen my mobile phone went like Kali. jesus we were on our knees i heard the message the phone just Kai. when i checked the phone i asked the day the structures will be making monumental statements when we are gone i'm seriously telling you this and ladies and gentlemen this this is obligational to us structures where mary gave birth to jesus and they build a church there they will put up a structure it is only people who don't understand that does not build anything transgenerational thinkers they build they build they build they build they build i have one i'm on table of one now they build Precious one, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Click on the notification bell. Whenever I drop any new video, you'll be the first person to watch. God bless you.